Hi, my name is Roger Wang. I'm from Micro IP. Micro IP is an IC design service company. What we're looking here is that this is our NFC reader chip design, and the chip is actually belong to our customer. So what we hear is that we're using FPGA to do the demo. Uh, this is an FPGA reader demo. So you can see when we use the car, this is the tag that I put in here, it can show the unique ID, okay? And different car, the reading is quickly, very quickly. So what we're doing here, that this is a, uh, this chip has, has been tapped out. This is based on SMIC uh, uh, 55 nanometer uh, technology. And we do the whole chip design for customer, including the IP design. And that uh, when we started to define a product, and then we go for uh, front end design and back end design, and then tap out and dri uh, driver and the firmware uh, development all one stop service for our customers. And uh, so, so you optimize for the SMIC fab, for example, here? Yes. This case is, is based on the uh, uh, SMIC uh, uh, 55 nanometer technology. And we also are uh, doing the AI chip design. So, yeah. So, so, so right this, there. This is okay. an AI design service, right? But this is a leverage. Um, we are uh, leveraging with a system integrator, and we help them doing the AI model training and also inference. And for for example, this is a MediaTek chip design. So we leverage on MediaTek chip and doing the AI uh, design. So we can do the uh, face recognition, right? And uh, uh, also the license pack recognition and also the uh, uh, biometric uh, recognition. So this is all based on AI. This is part of our design services. And in the meantime, we also partner with our uh, FPG partner. FNEX is an FPGA uh, uh, company. Uh, we are their value added distributor. So you can look at here, the FNEX, they introduced a new FPGA called Titanium uh, TI-375. This new chip is a, has a high speed range from 35K to 100 million large element. It, has, uh, uh, it is optimized uh, uh, performance. And this is based on the TSMC 60 nanometer. And there's also a, a older generation like a Trian. This is a 4K to 120K large element. Uh, this is more for uh, uh, volume segment. And the, you can see here, there's different, uh, this is titanium, right? And uh, you can see the iChar. This is software eye chart simulation result. And this is scope. So you can see that this is a, a, look at a really good eye chart. So this FNIX um, FPGA, mm -hmm. how good is it? It's, it's good. It's a focus on a volume segment. And also uh, because uh, it's a routing element, a large element can be switchable. So FNIX call it a quantum technology. It's better than uh, F, uh, uh, other competitors like uh, Zilinx and Altera. Their routing element and large element is fixed. What FNX technology is can be reconfigurable. Using the ID tool, you can reconfigurable the routing element, switch, switch element, so it is more dynamic and more performance and also lower power. Isn't the idea of uh, a FPGA, you can reconfigure stuff, but this one can reconfigure more than the other ones? Well, FPGA, you can reconfigure whatever you want, right? But what, what, I, what they are uh, technology is, uh, because your large element and large element, if you can reconfigure, you can optimize the FPJ much better. And also, the new product integrate the RIX-5 4-core processor. Okay, that's Harden, Harden IP. And other product line also have a SOP RIX-5 SOC. So there's a DSP, you have a CPU, and you also you have an AI accelerator. And we can you show it, it here tiny. with risk V hardware? Yes. Let it me introduce uh, FNEX. risk V hardware. Oh, hi. hi. Uh, let me give you a microphone, sorry. Okay. Right here. Okay. There. Uh, can you oh. it? Yes, sure. Yeah? Definitely. But... risk V hardware. Yeah. But I guess I should let my, my manager to explain Oh, okay. Equal sound. Yeah, equal sound. Maybe, uh, this is the CSP. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, so, so uh, do you have the Risk Five hardware right now? Yes. Uh, so it's it's right there. Yeah, that that one is a uh, um hardened Risk Five core uh, inside. 
the landing at Van Kierkegaard. So, um, what's the performance of the Risk V part? Well, so this quite, we have a Risk V core, it's four core. Yeah. Okay, yeah, what'd you say? Okay, so the Risk V core is, uh, we, we, uh, we are having a hardened Risk V core. Uh, it's also the quad core, and then uh, each core can run at one gigahertz. Is this mass production? Not yet. It's sampling now. I think uh, uh, it will be ready uh, in sometime in Q4 or Q1 next year. Is it the most powerful Risk Five enabled FPGA in the world? Or yes. I think uh, the only competitor is a microchip. So, but the um, ours are way better than power performance. The lower power than competitors. It is a microchip uh, part mass production. Yes. Is it on the market yes. with the Risk Five FPGA? But are they using a flash technology? We have a uh, SLAM technology with 16 nanometer, so much better power, power, and also the um, cost performance. What's the cut? So we are not deciding yet, <laughs> but uh, um, for sure uh, we are cheaper solution than microchip. Uh, you don't you don't do anything with the arm. Um, so actually, actually uh, we are focusing to support the Risk Five core because of our, our license payment, and then Risk Five is totally free, and then Asia Pacific guy is like a, a no charge of the like arm. We are the partner, so if there's a risk file arm um, IP design, we can work together with FNEX doing the IP integration on the FPGA. All right. Um, uh, what, is, what is the market? Which no. market can use this product? Oh, anything. Automation, right? And tools and industry. And even uh, uh, anything, right? If for, for the customer, they uh, their volume is not big enough for go for their own IC, they can use in the FPJ and go for production. That's actually much more cost-effective way to leverage FPJ uh, uh, resource and do the design. It's just like uh, you have your own chip, right? But you don't need to spend a lot of money to do the whole IC design. So FPJ, you can do in that from algorithm to FPJ. So that can be a pure concept, right? And you can once that is proven, you can directly ship FPJ as a product. However, if you want to more optimize on the performance, right, and you have bigger volume, then you can consider go for IC design. And we are a company either doing FPGA from algorithm to, to, to FPGA or from algorithm to the whole chip design.